we initially talked to Duke and a number of other employers like Maztec and Pike Electric and uh, Four County Electric Membership Corporation and asked them, what do you want to see in an entry-level line worker? What sort of things do you want covered? Right here, what we're doing is a part of our uh, underground process. We're teaching guys how to do an underground splice, and then later on this afternoon, we're going to be doing underground elbows and underground terminations. It's all part of the process of uh, being a lineman. Right now, they are stripping out a three-phase line. They're going to release the conductors, let them down under control, strip the pole down bare, and continue on to the next bowl. They're going to strip this entire three-phase line and they're going to rebuild it. When I decided to enroll here in the electrical lineman program, I was looking for a course that would be covered under the GI Bill, which I got from my time in the Marine Corps. That makes it a lot easier for me to, since we're here Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It helps with that peace of mind knowing that I'll have the income to be able to sustain myself and my family while I'm attending here. We started our first class in June of 2018 and we ran this course every quarter and it's a 10 week, 400 hour course and um, we are on our third class now and we will start our fourth class in April. One, they give an opportunity for unemployed people to get some training and, and go straight to work. It gives an opportunity for un underemployed folks who, are, who have a, a lesser paying job a chance to get some skills and get a higher paying job. And it benefits the employer by being able to rapidly expand their workforce to meet their business needs. What we're hearing from employers in North Carolina is they need at least 800 entry level linemen per year. As far as need, now the baby boomers are now leaving the workforce. Uh, for example, Duke alone requires over the next five years, 1,600 replacement linemen. That's one company in the U.S. So they've actually donated $200,000 grant to this facility to get this school started to pick from this apple tree they planted. Employers are telling us that they need to get the employees more productive in a shorter period of time. So short-term training programs in a matter of weeks or months to get folks to the point where they're productive in the workforce is essential for a rapidly expanding workforce. Our graduates are earning a, an income with no college debt in a period of 10 weeks. They are setting out on a career path that will give them a lifetime income of learning and earning. My goals for after graduation would be to get with a utility company that shares the same morals and values that I do, including respect, integrity, uh, safety being number one. Has the apprenticeship program as well. That's a big plus for getting out of this course because you want to be able to excel in what you're doing and be able to go up those ladders and progress a class A lineman or even the foreman or general foreman position. A person completing our program can expect to start anywhere from $17 to $24 an hour. And as they go into the apprenticeship program of their employer, they can expect to work a, to earn a low six-figure income after three or four years. It's gonna be a requirement that needs to be fulfilled for all the utilities. They're going to have holes to fill for all their retirees. Continuing revolving door as the old go away to retirement, the young folks have to come in and back fill. So here we're providing skilled labor force for those utilities. When we first developed this program, we thought we would have a very successful program if we had 80% of the folks offered a job. Well, we didn't do that. To this date, we have 100% of everybody that's completed has been offered a job.